Hey, how's it going, everyone? Just a very, very quick lesson um, from Psalms 112. You know, I just wanted to read this because it explains a lot, you know, about um, the character of God and then what he's planning to do. Uh, Psalms 112, verse 9, He hath dispersed, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. And the horn is rep representing God's elect. You know, the horn of, of salvation is a term that's used in the Bible. And so, um, verse 10, The wicked shall see it, all eyes will see him. And be grieved, he shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. His desire of the wicked shall perish. And so, even in these, literally in these two verses, you get a sequence of the end times. Because you see that he has given to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor, is ref referring to his elect along with the poor, and some of the elect can be poor as well, um, being saved. And so, and it also says they're dispersed, and so they're going to be in all nations. And so that's in verse 9. And then the wicked will see that happening. They're going to be grieved because they're not going to understand, first of all, that that's God, and that's the heart of God. And then it talks about, right after this, <clears throat> he shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. And so that's the lake of fire, you know, with weeping and gnashing of teeth. And the desire of the wicked shall perish. It will be a permanent destruction. And so... Literally in these two, two verses, we see two of the major things that are going to be happening um, in, in the end times, you know. And so, um, you know, salvation, and then people will see God's character through who's saved. And then, um, you know, the judgment for those who are offended by that, you know. And so just know that we definitely do not want to be in that group. But Psalms 112, even in two verses, explains uh, the sequence very succinctly. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.